There is one country in the developing world that stands out for its innovations in pain management. Of all places, Uganda. This small, poor, war-torn country has scarce medical resources, which is why doctors have been arguing that the least they should be able to offer patients is comfort. For Uganda, 80% of patients with the cancer have already got advanced cancers. And for those, there isn't much you can do except to give them palliative care. Dr. Jack Jagwe, who was with the Ugandan Health Ministry in the early 1990s, worked closely with foreign doctors and the international community to put into writing that every citizen of Uganda should have the right to palliative care, a first in Africa. The majority of our people here don't want to die in a hospital when they have a life-threatening illness. They want to die in their villages with their relatives around. So if you are going to offer palliative care, you have to have a means of taking your palliative care expertise to them in the villages. But the medical community still had a challenge, how to reach the majority of patients in the country, most of whom are hundreds of kilometers from the few doctors in the capital, Kampala. What happened in Uganda was that there were kind of the, the right people with the right ideas at the right time. They took a very systematic approach, you know, what are the barriers? And so they started talking about, you know, we don't have enough physicians to provide palliative care to everyone in, in, in the country. How do we solve this? So in 2004, the Ugandan government changed its rules, amending a law to allow nurses and clinical officers to prescribe morphine. Another first in Africa. Today, nurses can visit patients in pain, and without any doctor's involvement, they can legally administer liquid morphine. Demonstrate how they are supposed to measure their drug, they're supposed to pour on the lead a little bit, then get the syringe and draw. What happened in Uganda is replicable. You know, it could happen in, in many other African countries and could be replicated in countries around the world. Perhaps the most stark medical transformation is evident here in the country's only hospital burn unit. Just listen. Not a peep. Not a single cry of pain. The reality is without morphine, there's a limit to how much you can really support somebody who's in severe physical pain. Dr. Moira Lang is the first head of palliative care at Malago Hospital. She took us around to meet some of the patients. Patients like Richard Sependecki, who just days before was badly burned in a house fire. Burns cause a very severe pain problem, and particularly somebody like Richard, who has burns affecting a large part of his body, the pain will be very bad. When he came in, he said it was overwhelming. It was even making him cry, but right now, it's just mild pain. Yeah. So, in many ways, what we're doing is we're bringing hope, and we're bringing uh, relief, and we're bringing a very human-to-human -human sense of compassion and care. 